wow, this gas boost, he get a bill. <laughs> I remember one time when Pastor Tudi Bakari was criticizing people that when Tinubu was a uh, working day and night, where were you? Now that he has attained this level that he has attained, all of you are coming out to criticize him why the man was working. Mm. All the supporters of Tinubu were like, oh, yes, Pastor, tell them right on. Tell them, let them know, preach it. Preach it, they were shouting. Now, trade that don't enter between them, in between them. Mm. Well, trade that don't enter in between them. Well, ahead of the forthcoming presidential election, the general overseer of the Citadel Global Community, Pastor Tunde Baka, receives that the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinobu, cannot rule Nigeria with his condition and that it is best for him to step down for the presidential candidates of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi. Like, seriously? Hmm. He further stated that the people of Nigeria need a stronger and more stable man who will be able to stand up for the country the way it is. Nigerians should also reject any candidate who sees the presidency as entitlement, he said. According to him, I know that I got zero votes from the APC primary election, but Bola Ahmed Sinubu cannot rule Nigeria with his current situation and he is not stable. I would advise Nigeria to step down for him, Peter Obi, because Nigeria needs a strong and healthy man to lift the country, he said. Hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Hmm. You are a fake pastor. I thought Paul was talking to the likes of you when he said, it is God that gives power and enablement. Even when one is weak, it can be made strong by the Lord. It is only the humble that can serve the Lord, not someone who is full of pride like you. And come to think of it, who told you you are healthier than Sinubu? I thought you are lettered or claimed to be. The voice of education should have taught you that the word healthy is relative. Tinubu is sound in mind, and that is what prepares the physical. No, 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 no. You can say any other thing. That Tinubu is sound physically, like a uh, 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 sound in mind, like that. All these uh, gaps here and there, forget all those things. Kiyama was telling us that uh, it's because of uh, the the ethics of the campaign that is making him to make one or two mistakes. This one is not mistakes. When you talk about uh, article, talk about other people, they, they make mistakes. But Tinubu on his every, every campaign. His misstatements are not just making sense. Hmm. When well, you are talking trash, so Nigerians has no as to exercise faith so as to for Tinubu to be strong. That is what that was what he was talking. The presidency is nobody entitlement. You are a fake Christian, John. This man has supported Tinubu, announcing him as the next president, and when he and everybody saw that Tinubu needs brain resetting and is also sick. You want him to become or to because of people like you who are supporting Tinubu because of your stomach to join you in deceiving the masses. A good Christian puts others first. Let us tell ourselves the truth in Nigeria. Bola Tinubu is very sick and cannot say rule Nigeria. They don't like say, hearing these statements, especially his supporters. And cannot rule Nigerians. With his heart conditions, who oh. someone says that uh, is a what is it called Parkinson's disease? Even Shetima said he has a Parkinson's Parkinson disease. That the problem he has is a sleeping sickness. The old Nigeria will suffer for suffer if Tinubu is allowed to succeed with his evil plans. Tinubu doesn't even need to step down for anybody, and Tinubu is not even asking anybody to step down for him. Rather, so vote your candidates and. Stop wasting your strength to someone so someone to tell someone what to do and not what not to do. He's going there to test his popularity. If he wins, fine. If he does not win, so be it. It is the people that will decide. Well, you have said it all. If he has here, let him hear, listen to advice from man of God. Well spoken. May God bless you. Evil people hate truth. Bola Sinumbu is not a there to rule but as a front for Islamic jihadists whose agenda is to Islamize Nigeria. If all the pastors and the good men, Imam, 
we stand and say the same thing it will be a good thing hmm. god's mouthpiece have spoken so shall it be let him or hear that has ear. let him him or her that has ear hear what the spirit of god said to so avoid i die no congratulations sir my incoming president mr peter will be of course it will be supporters will be happy why Tinubu supporters will be like who are you he, of course the way they are just say uh, accusing him please make me talk where said truth is bitter and as he they pain them for body hmm. who islam who is man of god man of 419 now you be god who knows 419 from original we god forgive you Bakari, a liar, a deceiver, and a failure, advocating for a fellow liar, deceiver, and failure. Truth is bitter, well spoken. Tinubu is sick and old man. Tinubu is sick today. You are right. Tinubu doesn't even see, and I know when it's too late to amend. I wonder to where to hear that Tinubu said it is his right or it's time to rule. It is rotational after. Rotational affair or family affairs. When you are down, it will be down on you. When you realize that it is not neither your time or right time, continue to deceive yourself. Mm. Pastor Tony Baker got zero simply because he didn't share money for delegates. Let's imagine if Bakari had shared money and Sinubu did not. The revise would have been the case. Therefore, it is obvious Tinubu cheated to image the winner. His campaign has further exposed hmm. Oh. I just pity his congregations because uh it's not even leading them to the way of Lord Jesus Christ. If you attend a service safe, you will know he is stomach infrastructure pastor. Those clamoring for Tinubu don't love him. True love doesn't lie. True love will wish the other to stay alive. But Bakari, I heard you prophesied that God had ordained you the next president after Buhari. Meaning it was your turn. You lost out woefully and you are now winning. I don't know this man, but this man stand with a undiluted truth. May your day be long with your generation. Peter will be easy answer. Come on, let us see the truth. For worse, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.